Hello everybody, welcome to a video where I'm going to give some top tips for new players and I'm coming from um, at this from my point of view, um, which is as a new player myself. I've, I've not played the original games that much, my friend Jake has them and I've been playing them through the summer and I have tracked the series and we made some videos on it, but a lot of the kind of nostalgic knowledge comes from... Um, comes from Jake. So today I just want to give some new players some very quick thoughts on things I've kind of learned while playing the old games for my limited time I have over the summer and after playing all the way through Artisans today. Um, it didn't take me all day obviously. I'm not that bad at the game. Um, so yeah, if you are a new player, great. It, it's fun. I'm absolutely loving the Reignited Trilogy by the way. Anyway, so the first thing I want to talk about is make sure you use Artisans Homeworld to get a grip of the controls because Artisan's homeworld is I'm pretty sure the only level where there's no enemies so you can't really die unless you drown in that water near the waterfall so just just use it get a grip of what buttons you need to press to kind of breathe fire um, to charge at things or enemies obviously or or chest and just get a good feel for the camera as well because that's something I found quite strange jumping into Spyro um, and the Reignited trilogy. I think when I played it on PS1 in the summer it was actually more difficult because the, the the controllers on the PS1 is just completely different. It doesn't have um, have the little the little sticks. That's not very technical, like the the joysticks kind of thing. Great. What a start to this video, Alex. Yeah, but yeah, make sure you use Artisan's World just to practice your controls and make sure you've got control over Spyro. The second thing I want to talk about is that you're going to want to learn very quickly to charge everywhere because walking's boring. It's very slow, so you're going to want to charge everywhere. I know on the Xbox, always oh, playing on Xbox, that's not original. But I know on the Xbox, you can press the, um, the X button to charge and just get a, gr a hold of it, a feel of charging and, and make sure you're in control when you're charging and um, things like that. So make sure once again you're using artisans um, and obviously the other levels you jump in and things get more intense and more rushed. Make sure you're using um, that just to kind of get a hold of the charging as well. I think charging also focuses the camera too which is nice. You're going to want to charge. Charging's cool. Next up we've got a pretty obvious one, but one that I think could easily bypass you if you can't be bothered um, and you're not, you're not paying full attention or maybe you're hammered. I don't know. Do you play Spyro Hammered? Um, so listen to the dragons. The dragons in the first game, they're only in Spyro the Dragon, but listen to them because they give you valuable information and they give you absolutely perfect information, which is going to help you learn about the game, help you learn about sparks, for example, helps you learn about what you're doing, the controls, the gliding, loads of things like that. So make sure you're really taking the dragon's advice on board and there is a way to replay the dragons as well. If you go to where they were, you can select replay on them. Um, so you can replay them little bits of advice. Now, I think this is... The final point, and they are very basic points, and to some of you who have played Spyro all your lives, this this is going to be kind of difficult to hear how simple these points are, but I think they're important for new players. And I myself, these are the kind of some of the key things which I would, I am grateful to my friend Jake for kind of helping me out with these, because if you've never played it before, then you're just not going to know these things, unless you listen to the dragons. Listen to the dragons. Right, so the final thing is... When you're dealing with enemies, you really need to think about how you're dealing with them. Most of them can be either flamed or charged, um, but there are some which can't. And there's usually a dragon around to tell you, but if you're charging at something or you're flaming something and maybe it's got a metal shield and it's not working, the other one is more than likely to work. The other one will work. So if you can't charge at something, flame it. And if flaming it's not working, charge it. Charge it. But just be just be cautious in your attacks. Make sure you're learning. Um, I think artisans is just so easy, and then you get to toasty with the dogs and the shepherds, and it kind of goes up a level. Just in them situations, just take a step back, and you'll not die all the time. Um, things like that. But they're just some really basic points, and I, for like I said, for a lot of you, this this is just this is kind of like spelling your name. But for me, th this was important for me, and obviously, hopefully, it'll be useful for some other. Um, for some other new fans of the series and, and players of the game. So what I want to use this video for as well is just for you guys if... Because I've only co covered a few. I could have wrote quite a few more down. 
as I'm playing, as I'm sure as I'm playing through the Reignited Trilogy game after game, I'm going to come up with lots more points. And maybe when I've played through all three, I'll, um, I'll create a video on everything. But what I want is for you to people just to kind of leave your thoughts. What are your basic top three tips, something like that, in the comments, just to help the new players out a bit um, um, with, with their playing of the game. Because like I said, if it had not been for Jake, I'd have, I'd have been kind of drowned in because you can't swim in the first game. And I'd have been useless. So just top tips um, in the comments, if you will. Or if not, yeah, fair enough. I won't cry, I promise. Anyway, thank you for watching this very brief video. Um, I've tried to make it pretty obvious what it is. It's not pretending to be anything it's not. So leave your top um, top points down in the comments. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more Spyro content. We've got lots of more detailed stuff on there um, as well. And we're going to do some more reactions and lists and things like that. So thank you once again. And I will see you in another video.